Hello boys and girls. Today we're going to be learning about the animals that come from Europe. Would you like to join me? All right, let's start. The first animal that you can find in Europe is a bear. Now bears are omnivores, which means they like to eat berries, insects, and meat. They hibernate, which means during the winter they don't like to come out as much and usually are sleeping. They dig cozy caves to keep themselves warm during the winter time. Next is a roe deer. Roe deers uh, live for 10 to 12 years. They are a smaller type of deer that can be found in Europe and the male roe deer's antlers grow up to 20 to 25 centimeters long, which is quite small compared to its other friends. Next is the wolf. Wolves are carnivores, which means they only really eat meat. They live together in groups of 6 to 10, and this is what we call a pack. By living in a pack, they work together to protect each other and also help each other find food. Here we have the mallard duck. They usually fly south when it is winter. A male mallard is called a drake and a female mallard is called a hen. A group of ducks in the water is called a sword. But when they are flying in the sky, they are called a flock. This is a hedgehog. Hedgehogs make grunting noises, just like a pig or a hog would. This is why they're called hedgehogs. They hibernate during winter. Just like bears, they prefer to stay inside instead of going out. And they have 5,000 spines on their backs. These are also called quills, for these small little prickly parts. Next, we have the squirrel. They usually like to eat nuts and berries and seeds. They are born blind, which means they only get their eyesight a bit later. And their large eyes help them to see better while they're climbing up trees. So these are our animals from Europe. The bear, the roe deer, the wolf, the mallard duck, the hedgehog, and the squirrel. I had a lot of fun learning about these animals, and I hope you did too. We'll see each other soon. Bye!